Hello guys, Nora City Central here, back for another video. I hope you're all enjoying your days. Um, and yeah, I'm bringing the inevitable, inevitable news that Wes Hulahan is retiring after 10 years and I'm absolutely gutted. Uh, an absolute, tr uh, a great servant to the club. A, a club legend, let's put it out there. Um, the, the, the word legend gets thrown about a lot, but he's a true legend. And goodbye Wes Hulahan, thank you for the memories. You've been a terrific player. And honestly, if, if, he, you know, if he had a right foot, if he could... If he could head the ball well, you know, if he was a bit more physical, he would be, honestly, I'm not exaggerating, he'd be at a, a top, top club in Europe. Um, because, you know, on his day, Wes Houlihan was unbeatable. And, you know, obviously Wes Houlihan's career in the last couple of years hasn't been as at that top level. But let's, let's consider when he was in the championship under the Lambert days, he was a sensational player. Um, and I think only Irish fans and Norwich fans will appreciate how good this guy was. He was an absolutely terrific player. Um, played over 350 games, 53 goals, 77 assists, um, and an absolute legend at the club. Um, I'm gutted he's leaving Wes Houlihan, um, but it, it's probably the right time for him now. You know, he's 35, 36, he's getting on. Um, but, you know, you, you know, we can't understate what a legend he was, and all, all, all our managers probably underused him. Maybe not Paul Lambert as much, but Chris Hewton definitely, when we was in the Premier League, definitely underused him. Um, Alex Neal in his last couple of seasons and then obviously Daniel Farker as well um, but you know I think Glenn Road has only done one good thing in his career and that is signing Wes Houlihan for 250 grand and I saw a piece of, of, from Chris Gorham and Paul Lambert was actually going to um, sell um, Wes Houlihan back in 2009 it's now 2018 and he's stayed at the club for that long and he's he's become a true legend he's a very humble guy uh, me and Ducker have met him um, we met him after QPR away and you know he's a very nice guy and that's what that's what he comes across he's a very professional humble guy he's just a bloody good footballer um, I've got a question for you guys what is your favourite memories of Wes Houlihan and um, before I continue Wes Houlihan did give an open letter to the fans um, explaining his decision and basically just saying thank you for all the incredible support fans have given him and you know I think we have given him because I think a lot of players have had stick Russell Martin's a player who's had a lot of stick from fans but I think fans have always appreciated Wes Houlihan and that's a sign of what a great, great player he is. But he did say just thank you and he also said about his two favourite moments in the Norwich City career. So what is your, what is your favourite Wes Houlihan moment um, in his career, in his 10 years at Norwich? He said either Wembley, which of course was magnificent. I thought he was the man in the match at Wembley. I thought he was so good at Wembley and a key reason why we won that game. Um, but he also said the playoff, uh, the goal which got us to the Premier League um, it was Port against Portsmouth, Simeon Jackson's header. Um, that was also his favourite moment. So what is your favourite moment in the Norwich City shirt? For me, obviously Wembley's a, a, a great moment and you know he, he ran the strings that day. But my most iconic Wesley Hulahan moment was probably back in Ipswich, the 2015 playoff semi-final. The game was on a knife edge and Wes Hulahan just with so much composure, so much professionalism, putting away the penalty and you know that goal really, really got us going. Um, yeah, that's my favourite Wes Houlihan moment. What is your favourite Wes Houlihan moment? Um, yeah, but honestly, in the 10 years he's at the club, I've always said he's my favourite player. Um, he just acts with so much professionalism. Um, and he's so quality, isn't he? The, the, way, the way he's so small and so agile, um, he gets past players and he's got a fantastic vision. I don't think I've seen a better player with much vision. And, you know, he's very good in those final key areas as well, picking out a pass, very good decision-making. And just a very talented individual who, on his day, was unstoppable. And even in the last couple of seasons, he's put in some great performances. I remember back in last season under Alex Neal, we played Derby in a 3-0 home win, and he was incredible that day. And, you know, he's been obviously 7-1 against Reading as well. He was great that day, scored one two goals. Um, QPR last game of the season, he's, you know, he's had so many great games. And even, you know, I think last season he's still got 10 goals, which is such shows what a fantastic guy he is. But, yeah. Wes Houlihan is leaving. Thank you, Wes Houlihan, for delivering some moments which will last a lifetime. And I think the the key way to sum up the video and to sum up a footballer like Wes Houlihan is footballers won't always last forever, but the memories that you give the fans will. Thank you, Wes Houlihan. Subscribe to Norwich City Central, and I'll see you later.